Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the flakiest pie crust recipe ever. And a lot of you have written to me and I've had a lot of students throughout the years have difficulty with certain recipes in making the flakiest pie crust. Whether it's a savory pie crust or a sweet pie crust or a one crust pie or a two crust pie, they have trouble. And I used to have trouble too. And you know what? Just making them over and over helps, but also having one of the best recipes ever to guarantee success. And I got that for you today. This is for a two crust pie. You can have it and make a one crust pie or make the two crust pie, have it and put half in the freezer. And that's what I do all the time. Number one, it's super, super easy. You start in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can actually use what's known as a pastry blender in a bowl. And once we get to adding the butter, I'll let you know why this pastry blender or the food processor is really important. So in this food processor, I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And if you want to use regular table salt, you can as well and one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, just to get a little extra flakiness in there. That's one of my secrets among many. Now I'm gonna put the top on and I'm just gonna give it a whirl around just to get it mixed. If you were doing this in a bowl, you would just put those ingredients in here and just move around the pastry blender. Next you're going to cut in your fat. So you've seen that in a recipe. Cutting in the fat means taking cold fat. In this particular case, we're gonna use two sticks of butter or 16, te uh, 16 tablespoons of butter. This is unsalted and it's cold. And that's why I'm using the food processor because if it's super cold, it will take a little bit longer to cut it in with the pastry blender, although I've done that too and it's super easy to do. So you're gonna sort of scatter this butter around and then you're going to pulse because the food processor is gonna create friction and heat and it's gonna warm up our butter. It's very important we keep our ingredients really cold. And because sometimes little puffs of flour come out the sides or the top, I'm gonna to cover it and I'm just gonna pulse it until my butter gets to be pea-sized pieces. And I'm gonna show you. That's one of the tricks to making the flakiest pie crust. So let me show you. So you can see, okay, these are a little bit bigger than pea-sized pieces. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. But you want, you see how they break up and they're still ice cold. That's what you want. The name of the game is cold, baby, because the coldness prevents that fat from melting in the oven too quickly. And if it melts too quickly, you're not going to get your flakiness. All right. Now, the next special ingredient is a half a cup of icy water. And before I even started making this pie crust, I filled a measuring cup with lots of ice and water, and I didn't measure it. I measure it in another measuring cup. All right. And you want to measure in a liquid measuring cup. So I have half a cup of ice cold water and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You don't like apple cider vinegar? You can use lemon juice, you can use orange juice, you can even use vodka. Anything that's going to give a little extensibility to your dough, what does that mean? It's going to denature the proteins in the wheat flour and it's actually gonna help us roll out our dough and make it easier to roll out. So that's a tablespoon. I'm gonna drizzle my ice cold water around. And I always have the extra water ready just in case I might need it. We don't wanna to add too much water because water in wheat flour creates gluten. So we're just gonna pulse a little bit till it comes together. Maybe about eight or nine pulses, not too much. And if it's very dry, I can add more water. But before I decide if it's too dry, I'm gonna sort of dump the entire uh, amount of this dough, this two crust pie dough, into my bowl. Make sure you hold your blade so you don't get that in the bowl. All right, I'm just gonna dump it in. 
get all the good stuff out. And you're going to actually put it together with your hands. You're not going to knead it. You're just going to push and push. And this makes a beautiful, sometimes pie recipes that for the pie crust is a little skimpy. I don't like skimpy pie crust. I like a nice pie crust. So when you pu push it together, you see what's happening? I'm not kneading. I'm just putting it together like this. And if you can go like this and pinch this, and it doesn't fall apart, and it's not. See how it's holding together? That actually has enough water. Don't add any more water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather this into a ball of dough. I'm going to cut it with my dough scraper into two and wrap each half in plastic wrap. And then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for about one hour. And after that, you can use this for any recipe, for any type of pie that you need, savory or sweet. And again, if, because it's already divided, you can make two one crust pies, or you can make one double pie, or you can even make some turnovers. That's always fun to do. So that's basically the lowdown on how you make the flakiest pie crust ever. Uh, follow the recipe if you, uh, for the recipe that you are following for your pie. But if you want just to know how to bake this off, let's say with some sliced apples in it or plums or something like that, like a fruit, I usually bake my pie crust, this particular one in particular, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, till the crust gets nice and golden brown, usually 15 to 20 minutes and up to 40 minutes if I need to. So this is the lowdown on pie crust, and this is the best flakiest pie crust recipe ever. So I hope you become a subscriber. Till next time.